The hazards of lead poisoning in Northeast Ohio children. This is an issue News 5 has been covering for years. Lead is public enemy number one. Just this summer, a Cleveland father called on the city to look at the possible connection between crime involving teens and lead poisoning in the blood. That crime wave is a direct result of those children who have fell off through the cracks. Weeks later, we saw efforts for free lead soil testing amid the growing concerns and most recently an unprecedented legal step from the city. Each is charged with 75 first degree misdemeanor counts. A first of its kind legal action for lead violations. Okay, so we're back on this issue tonight because findings from a Case Western Reserve University study on Cleveland's lead safe program show disappointing results. Only 13% of Cleveland rental property owners have received their safe lead certifications more than two years into the program. Advocates say more needs to be done. For the last two years, News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis has been following through on this issue. He has details on the study and what Cleveland's doing about it. Before we go any further into this, I think it needs to be revamped. Cleveland led advocates for safe housing executive director Yvonka Hall reacts to this new study released by the Case Mandel School of Social Sciences on Cleveland's lead safe program, showing applications by Cleveland landlords to get their lead safe certifications are down 23% in 2023 and down some 1,000 applications per quarter compared to last year. Hall says Cleveland's Lead Safe Coalition needs to do more to get landlords involved. You need to make sure that they know what the process is. This is how you fill out the application. We cannot continue to wait and waste years on ineffective process. If it's Erica working. Jarvis, who was lead poisoned at the age of four, also responded to the case report showing lead safe application denials are at 53 percent in the third quarter of this year. And 26 percent of Cleveland kindergartners are coming to class with a lead poisoning history. Erica says more must be done to urge parents to get their kids lead tested. If you have Medicaid, it is non-negotiable your pediatrician should be testing. And we've also got to see more aggressive use of compliance tactics. Case Associate say. Professor Robert no, Fisher no, says no. the study clearly shows low compliance in Cleveland's lead safe program. Something like 90% of our rental universe are in singles and doubles. And for those properties, we're seeing compliance about 8 to 10%. And Fisher says even when landlords sign up for the two-year lead certification. What we're seeing is that only about 20 to 30 percent of them have actually gone through the process of renewing their lead safe certificate. The city of Cleveland issued a statement saying it's taking greater steps to improve lead safe compliance. Two weeks ago, filing legal action against 50 property owners whose rental units were not yet lead safe. Still, though, Erica believes the city program needs to dramatically improve its outreach to landlords and parents. For me, bombard social media, you have the money, there should be commercials, there should be things on the radio station. Hell, we should see Indiana. council talking about it. And the city of Cleveland told News 5 it's working with the Lead Safe Coalition and Cleveland City Council to try and find ways to improve compliance, hoping to have recommendations and potential legislation for passage ready sometime in early 2024. You know News 5 will follow through on this developing story. Reporting right here at Cleveland City Hall, I'm News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis.